recently when I did my giveaway giving away Rubber's Lover, The Degenerates, and Cannibal Holocaust, I asked a lot of you guys what avenue do you think extreme horror will take in the near future, or how do you think extreme horror will evolve in the near future. And while I loved everyone's comments, quite a number of you guys mentioned they will probably follow the same tradition as the film Charlotte's Net. My one question to myself is, what the fuck is Charlotte's Net? So, knowing that a lot of people have mentioned it, a lot of Reddit posts have been made about it, I figured I better check the film out for myself. Charlotte's Net was recently re-released on DVD by American distributor Underworld Sabrosa, which has been showing me a lot of love and support as of recently. Before we get into the film, I want to talk a little bit about the distributor, Underworld Sabrosa. As I said, they're an American distribution label and essentially the American Black Lava Entertainment. So if you live in the United States and you want to buy something that Black Lava has released, then the only way to get it now is through Underworld Sabrosa. And yes, if you order, you still will get the Black Lava Fuck the Mainstream sticker with every package. Speaking of packages, the first time I ordered from them and the package was delivered, Delivered, I was blown away. Besides fast as fuck shipping, the stuff that they include with every order is rad, including the fuck the mainstream sticker. Underworld Sabrosa has definitely been paying great attention to detail to everything that it's doing, including making their packaging stand out. If you're new to the horror underground and want to see what it's all about, or if you're a fan in general and want what you deserve, definitely check out Underworld Sabrosa. And again, thank you so much, Underworld Sabrosa, for your continued support. Rock on. Now, let's get back to Charlotte's Net. Again, the film has created a bit of a buzz online, and the reason behind that is the use of real gore footage. The film starts with a strange video from what looks like the late 90s of a family introducing their children to the internet, how cool the internet is, and being safe on the internet. While this is being shown, it cuts to real gore footage of pretty much ISIS and drug cartel execution videos. After this, we get to the movie portion where it is shot in POV format, and we have two kids, Phil and James. James, the one kid holding the camera, is an amateur filmmaker and has an interest in surfing the dark web and finding a lot of extreme footage and red rooms on the dark web. His friend Phil can care less. Phil seems pissed by James's presence through most of the film and obviously doesn't care about the dark web or real gore or anything disgusting in general. Immediately as the film begins, we see Phil pissed off at James for James including him in a film that included real gore footage. One night, James persuades Phil to surf the dark web and they find something pretty scary which only makes Phil angry. James decides to try and cheer him up by showing him the movie that he promised he would finish, which also includes real gore footage. This pisses Phil off and Phil decides to kick James out of the house. The next day, James returns to find Phil looking at surveillance footage of the house when James was kicked out and they both find James outside, but then they also find something else. They find a masked man creeping around the house. Later on, the two decide to take Phil's dog out for a walk, and at that point, Phil opens up to James about something he saw that really, really disturbed him. Phil doesn't describe much other than mentioning Charlotte's net. Later on, Phil's dog gets kidnapped, so the two decide to chase after the car, and they end up at a rundown derelict house. While searching the house, they find the dog's collar, a chainsaw, and a television playing crush porn of a woman crushing a puppy to death. Freaked out by this, they decide to leave, and while driving down the road, they hear noises coming from the trunk. When they go out to investigate, they open the trunk to find a video playing with text that reads, Your next scum cunt. So I'd pretty much end things there, but there's only a little bit more of the film to talk about, so spoilers, yes, or spoilers, no, I'm just going to finish talking about the rest of the film. Phil and James get separated, and they are both killed off, and their deaths are portrayed by real gore footage, and that is Charlotte's Net. 
This isn't the first time that I've seen a film incorporating scenes of real death. Dustin Ferguson's film Shockumentary also includes clips from real death films and a mass killer killing those involved. My initial fear when I first heard about Charlotte's Net was the film was really gonna be nothing more than a real gore mixtape. But thankfully for me, Charlotte's Net does not have that vibe. It plays as a decently made found footage film with the resources that director James Dobbins Jones had available. The characters of Phil and James definitely work better with both of them being polar opposite personalities. I definitely like how they kept the identity of the killer anonymous in the film. Much like the stories and creepypastas you hear online about the dark web, there isn't much of a motive behind why people are getting killed by people that host real gore videos and red rooms on the dark web besides just wanting to torture and kill them for the sake of doing so, or just to imply that these people shouldn't poke their noses where they don't belong. While yes, the real gore clips are quite extreme, a lot of fans have anticipated and even suggested that a lot of films in the underground to come will follow the tradition of Charlotte's Net by including more scenes of real gore. However, for me personally, I really hope that is not the case. If I want to watch real gore footage, I'll go watch a shockumentary or even a mixtape. I'd rather have films separated from real gore, real death films, shockumentaries, and mixtapes. That's just my preference on it. If I'm going to make an extreme horror film, I would like there to be artistic merit behind it as opposed to using clips of real gore footage and death. I can see why Charlotte's Net has created the buzz it has created, and I am 100% not discrediting that. If anything, I believe that Charlotte's Net will introduce more people to the extreme horror underground. Obviously, with the iceberg, a lot of average Joes have been watching a lot of real gore videos, mixtapes, even finding shockumentaries, and finding them interesting, and some of them even finding them entertaining. And with that, no matter how grossed out they are, they can't help but want to see more. As a film, Charlotte's Net is definitely a welcome entry in the extreme horror underground that I personally believe will make an impact. Would I recommend the film? I'd say yeah. It's definitely not a masterpiece by any means, but it's definitely worth a watch. As I said earlier, I love Underworld Sabrosa and Black Lava Entertainment for that matter, and love the work and effort that they put into all of their releases. My only complaint about the DVD of Charlotte's Net is the lack of features. The cover, insert, and disc artwork are great, but I really wish we could have gotten some behind the scenes interviews, a documentary, or a commentary talking about the making of the film and what was going through director James Dobbins Jones' mind while creating Charlotte's Net and why he wanted to include real gore footage in the film. There is technically, I guess you would call, an easter egg on the DVD menu where if you go to the Underworld Sabrosa logo and click that, it'll go to another menu where you could watch the short film Obsession. This DVD seems to get sold out very quickly on Underworld Sabrosa's website, so if you want to see it now and not have to wait for them to make more, I definitely act quick. If you want to see what all the buzz is about and want to see some gnarly real gore footage, then definitely head on over to UnderworldSabrosa.com. Link will be in the description as always. Go check them out and definitely go check them out on social media and be a part of the Extreme team. That's extreme with two X's. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming by and checking out this review. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all my latest videos. Also, make sure to check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, to stay posted on what I'm doing behind the scenes of making these videos. Before you click off this video, don't forget to hit it with a thumbs up. And leave me a comment down below saying if you've seen Charlotte's Net and what do you think of it. Until next time, take care and stay scared.